like right now it's uh it's russia it's china it's iran uh when when we know like with the uh the 911 you know saudi arabia 15 of the 19 terrorists on 911 were saudi arabian not one of them was from afghanistan or iraq who did right. we go to war with iraq and afghanistan yeah Oh yeah, the whole thing was manufactured I mean, <laughs> from to high heaven. The fact they, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, um, whether they knew that the the attacks were going to happen or not, it really doesn't matter because they took advantage of the fear that it generated. You know what I'm saying? They, they, it, it could have been one of those happy accidents that they the these these. These Saudis were working for totally not with, you know, the United States or Israel or anybody. They could have been working alone. And then, you know, boom, 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 you hit the towers, you hit the Pentagon. That that raises the fear, you know, well past 11. And uh, so the United States as well, you know, we, we can. It, that was a blank check for the uh, for the. For the powers that be, the your, your Rumsfelds, stuff. your Cheneys, and all that—that that was a blank check for them. They could, it's like, yeah, they, he had so what he had like a ninety-something percent uh, approval rating. But before that, everybody forgets the year before nine eleven, right? Everybody forgets the Bush presidency from when he took office. See, they remember they remember the election. Uh, you know the 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 Florida with the Chads and the Glavin and the Hoyvin, and then uh, then they remember 9/11. <laughs> Those are two nice historical bookends, but everybody forgets what happened in the middle. And what happened in the middle was, uh, so Bush starts off, and I remember I don't know maybe you got one of these or not. Did you did you ever get a four hundred dollar check from George Bush right after he took office? Uh. Yeah, I I wanted or to say some, 300, but yeah. Yeah, okay. So, it may have been different for different people. Um, but yeah, I remember getting a $400 check in the mail from George Bush. You know, it's like some sort of tax thing. I don't know. It seemed like such a PR stunt. I mean, 400 bucks ain't nothing to sneeze at, especially when you're, you know, living in Mississippi. You could do a lot of good things with 400 bucks. Or 300 bucks or wherever you're you're at, you know. It's it's it, you know, it's free money, it seems like. But then after that, then I think there was the uh, the big thing was the the uh, the spy plane. It's a spy plane. We were spying on China, and I don't know if the Chinese shot it down or whatever, but they got a hold of the spy plane. I need to look that up. Um, but it was uh, – give me just a second here. Uh, but yeah, and they caught the pilot, the co-pilot, and all that. It was very embarrassing for George Bush. Um, let's see, spy plane. To, uh, I can't. I can't find it right away. But anyway, so the the basically the Chinese got a hold of a spy, the U.S. spy plane, and got a hold of the crew, and. They ended up sending them home, and it just the the United States just looked like a big ass because because uh, it's like they, their crew got caught, and so and I can't remember what else. I'd I'd love to do a, a deep dive. I should have done that before. I didn't know we were going to talk about this tonight, but to see what happened before nine eleven, all the fuck ups. Because by the time right before nine eleven, Bush was like at like around forty. I think he's like where he, he was at where. Uh, Biden is now maybe lower. I think it was like low 40s was his uh, approval rating. And then 9-11 and then the rest is, uh, as they say, is history. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, the, uh, the George Bush uh, reclamation project that's going on, uh, you know, it's it's just it's just so fucking sick and 
it, it's it's just because all these presidents we've had are just terrible. And and it's like Chris Hedges said, uh, uh, the genius of Bill Clinton was that he turned the Democrat Party into the Republican Party, and he yep. made the Republican Party so fucking crazy that they lost their minds. Mm-hmm. And and so so it's uh, it's like we've had whenever whenever I, I say you know this jo- Joe Biden is Ronald Reagan's eleventh consecutive term, it's mm-hmm. it's it's the truth, man. We've had nothing. I mean, I'm it, I'm not putting words in Obama's mouth when I say that 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 he said uh, he's to the on, he's to the right of Richard Nixon on a lot of policy. Like, who the fuck? Why would you say that? This is the guy that ran on hope and change, you know, like uh, universal health care, and 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 then you know, in 2012 or whatever, he 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 says he's to the right of Nixon. It's like, what the fuck? But yeah, they're dude, all I, they're all fucking Republicans, man. Yeah, you you hit you hit the nail on the head there uh, when you said um, that. The, that Clinton turned the the Democratic Party into the Republican Party. Um, yeah, he he definitely turned them into into moderate Republicans at the very least. At the very least, they were moderate Republicans. And uh, yeah, and then Dude, the, the, he signed he he signed NAFTA into law. Right. Yeah. And uh, like and then and then the George, meanwhile the first George Bush. Uh oh, you still there, brother? Hello. Oh, okay, you just faded yeah, yeah, out yeah. for a second. I'm sorry. The uh, the uh, the the first George Bush, you know, he NAFTA was his baby, and he was he was gonna sign it after he won re-election, but then he didn't win. But Bill Clinton, uh, who, who used to intern George Bush, uh, a lot of people don't know that. Hmm. But he, uh, he's the one, so, so, you know, George Bush, uh, NAFTA was his baby and Bill Clinton's first order of business as president was to sign it into law. Yeah. And, uh, I think Jimmy Dore mentioned that, that he said that, uh, he couldn't, uh, Bush senior himself couldn't get it done. So he let, he let Clinton do it. <laughs> and Clinton was the one that got yeah, it. He done. ran out of time. Yeah, he ran out of time.